Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hey there, this is G Forever. Yes, and we're here with Just Revealed X Plus Godzilla figures. Ooh, a lot of cool stuff. First, for context, we're at Wonder Festival uh, Winter 2023 in Japan. We're not there, but we're looking at the photos. Yeah, the first thing we see at the X Plus table is Destroya. So what do you think here, G Forever? Well, this is looks like it's going to be for the favorite sculptors line. And I believe the original kit was uh, shown, I think it was a year ago. And uh, it was it's done by uh, Black Dragon Studio. So it looks like uh, X Plus has uh, bought the rights to uh, produce this in the 30 centimeter scale. Um, so looks pretty cool. Uh, definitely a stylized uh, destroyer. And very, you know, I think Black Dragon tends to make their... Um, uh they're like their statues kind of in a roaring pose and if i'm not mistaken there's a shin godzilla that's roaring and a um and a godzilla ultima that's roaring uh similar to this pose just uh, different characters yeah but it looks it looks pretty good this is yeah. this the first uh so what other x plus destroyers are there there is a 25 centimeter um, adult destroyer. So same same uh, character you see on the screen, just uh, more more of a static pose. This one is more of a roaring pose. Um, definitely, uh, you know, looks looks like destroyer is ready to uh, to you know ready to fight here. Oh yeah, and then here's something. Ooh, it's this Evan- is new. Yeah, Evangelion Unit One uh, with the G added. You can oh. see the little G. We'll look at that. We got a, a few better views of the tag here. Okay. Uh, Defo Reel. Hmm. Not painted yet, but Not yeah, painted. it looks like a cross. So a cross between Godzilla. Yeah, it's part of the Godzilla versus Evangelion series. Yeah, very cool. Um, they they did tease. Um, well, actually, they did have a thirty centimeter version released uh, a few years ago, and they actually reissued it. Sadly, I missed the reissue because I was at work. Um. And uh, I'm pretty happy if I if I can't get the reissue, at least I can get a defo reel. And this defo reel is looking pretty cool. Um, originally, I didn't care for it too much, um, at least the bigger one. But uh, I, you know, I cr- kind of grown to like this kind of hybrid looking uh, Godzilla, kind of neat. That's actually a really good looking head. Like on the right side, you can see more of that uh, Millennium Godzilla, and on the left side, you can see more of the Eva. So yeah, right there. That's that's yeah, pretty yeah, good yeah. looking. Yeah. yeah, or vice versa. Yeah, uh, if you're there, it's his right. Oh yeah, his right, our left. <laughs> oh, and there's more Godzilla. Speaking. Oh of him. yeah. Here's yeah, a Godzilla, a... 1954 gigantic defo reel. Yeah, it looks like this will be the second in that uh, gigantic defo reel series. The first one was a Shin Godzilla, and this is uh, the 1954 uh, train biter version. Uh, what's interesting is. Um, I think they're, they're. It looks like they're just following their um, Defo Reel line because I think, if I remember correctly, the Fifty Four was the second Defo Reel in the series, and it was actually this also the same color. It was the colored version, um, not the black and white version. So interesting uh, how they're they're reissuing or not reissuing, uh, releasing um, the uh, gigantic Defo Reel line. Uh, very sharp teeth on this one. Yeah, what do you think version. of those teeth? They look they look huge. A little They're... big on a fifty four, but again, this is a ve- you know the is a very stylized version. And also, if if you remember the gigantic Defo Real Shin Godzilla, the teeth were also big on that one. So and another Godzilla. This is not X plus, but this is Godzilla nineteen eighty nine, the Godzilla Store Movie Monster series uh, exclusive. Oh, very uh, cool. You know, based on uh, Yuji Sakai. So yep. we showed this in the recent, most recent Godzilla Store video that we posted, but it's also on display here at uh, Wonderfest. So it's back to X Plus. This Yay. is Godzilla 1992 Large Monster Series. Yeah, I know we have. We, there's a we do have a, a lot of fans uh, waiting for this 1992. Uh, so they can ma- uh, match him up with the 1992 Mafra. This is for the Toho Daikaiju series or large monster series, 25 centimeter um, line. So very cool to see. This is the Mafra that's already out, I take it. Yes. And we've already reviewed. Correct. Yeah, this, this Mafra is really well done. So it'll be great to have um, a matching uh, Godzilla and hopefully Batra uh, adult in the f- near future. Oh, yeah. And then there's more. There's something also Ooh. people are excited about. Godzilla 2002 Gigantic. Yes. This, so is this is a, a new. So this is a new Gigantic. 
Yeah, brand new gigantic. Finally, I'm I'm happy to see a new sculpt from X Plus because this I I had I don't think they've made any new gigantic sculpts um in the past uh, year or two. Um, it's all they've all been reissues from past uh, mostly Shin Godzilla. Uh, but yeah, it's really refreshing to see a new sculpt and especially a fan favorite uh suit. This is the 2002 design that fought Mecha Godzilla Kiryu. Um, he looks a little chunky um, in this version. It's not painted yet, so, um, but he does look a little uh, more bulky than uh, than my memory of what he looks like. But maybe also, uh, what, it's, what the it's still if being you've noticed. Look at his mouth. So like uh, here, we're looking at his mouth. Open mouth, closed oh, mouth. Closed mouth. Nice. So I assume it's two different jaws because they've done that, haven't they? They have, yeah. In the nineteen sixty four uh, release, they had um, you can replace the jaw, and then uh, af what comes after two thousand two, but two thousand three. <laughs> Ooh, so it's Godzilla two thousand three defo reel. Yay! And, yeah, nicely painted here. Yes, I love He's... it. Yeah, two thousand two, two thousand three. I, I prefer the two thousand three a little more because he has that scar, and um, it, it just makes him a little more unique. Uh, but I, I like it. And check this out. We have a, um, is it Kami Kamiba? I think it was Kamiba. But he showed up dead um, on a beach, uh, hinting that uh, Godzilla uh, killed him like by uh, biting his neck. Okay, there's one more thing I want to show. It's not from X+, Plus, but it's just really, it just looks so cool. Uh, and this is uh, Orochi. Ooh. So yeah, Orochi. this is part of, give, give you a better sense of what goes on at Wonder Festival. So Wonder mm -hmm. Festival, as I understand it, there's a whole bunch of like, you know, artists and independent artists and and uh, comp small companies that they basically, uh, you know, make their own, you know, make their like a small number of like uh, figures. I think often they're kits that you have to like resin kits that you buy the kit where you have to put it together yourself and paint and it yourself. Paint it. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so it looks like somebody, I don't know who. I think a, it's. Uh, it's actually the the I believe it's the same people that made the destroyer. If oh, you look, okay. yeah, if you look closely, I think it says I think yeah, it's yeah, you can I, I can sort of read the kanji, which is uh, the Chinese characters, uh, Black Dragon. I think that's Studio at the bottom. Yeah, so this oh. is the same people that made the destroyer. Um, oh, cool. X plus bot. Oh, cool. Well, I'd be I'd be happy if X. Oh, X plus. Uh, so yeah, like, uh, I mean, this is what this is this would make a this would make a impressive uh, uh, figure to display. And it's quite large, know, though. Yeah, we've talked about Orochi in in our uh, past videos, so it's yep. been a while. Because there was a Bandai uh, yes, figure. There was. So basically, so so, but it starts. Well, basically, like for a little context, this is actually uh, based on uh, Japanese mythology. Mm -hmm. It's like. Uh, as, I think it's like what eight eight headed like an eight headed dragon. Correct. Yeah. But in 1994, Toho made a uh, monster movie. Yes. Uh, starring Orochi, and it's not Godzilla's not in it, but nope. it's like a really cool. It's a really cool looking uh, monster. Yes. Oh yeah. All right. So this is Heisenberg and G Forever. Hope you enjoy Wonderfest 2023.